Hey guys, welcome to another new creature unpacked. This is Omar. How you doing? Um, first off, I've got to say I'm sorry. Usually I put this thing out on um, on Monday, but I've I've been so busy. Um, if you've noticed, my my background looks a little different. Um, well, it usually looks something like this, uh, something like that, a little bit. Yeah, but I switched my shelf with my desk there's there's my shelf with all the garbage on it i'm so proud I'm so proud um but yeah we i switched that around um i got if you see in the background that's my computer i've got my uh digital audio workstation working again uh, somewhat i mean it works in theory things are connected <laughs> software runs and uh yeah but yeah alongside with uh the uh rearrange and uh you know um getting my kids back on a regular routine recovering from thanksgiving a couple of personal health issues kind of came up um yeah i i've just been really really swamped and um yeah the channel's gonna suffer for that i'm sorry i gotta take care of myself i gotta take care of my family i gotta take care of i gotta take care of new creatures lair you know so um i'm doing my best though and I, I want you to know that I am trying really hard here. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. Um, this is last week and this week's um, hauls. Next week is uh, is going to be... I'm going to have um, a special haul uh, because it's my birthday. And uh, I collected something and I finally completed it and I, I wanted to open it uh, on a new creature and, uh, unpacked. So let's get to this and uh, we'll, uh, yeah, let's let's just do it. Um, first thing on the docket, Kingdom Hearts. We got Mickey and Pluto. And uh, yeah, let's just check out the box right there. We've got our Mickey and Pluto. Nice big product window. You got your Diamond Select logo right there. On the back, we got product renders. And uh, I don't know Kingdom Hearts. I just like the figures. And uh, I have this one, but if you've been following, you know his arm broke. It broke clear off. I, I tried to repair it. The repair kind of worked, but it kind of didn't. So it's just kind of uh, sitting on my shelf uh, being um, a disappointment. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get this open. Let's check this out. Yeah, this is a Walgreens exclusive. I got this on um, on clearance. It was like something like five dollars. So if if you see them around, they're worth getting. Diamond Select puts out some pretty good stuff. Their their paint quality is not that great, but it's it's not bad either. You know, um, sometimes they do a little better. Uh, on their uh, Marvel Select figures, but sometimes they're just they're just really the 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 uh, paint applications can get pretty sloppy. I guess that's with everybody, but I've noticed it more with Diamond Select uh, figures than uh, than any other toy line that I've been collecting. Let's see. Ah, uh, it's not going to be easy. Come on, there we go. All right, got that key sword. Really cool, really cool. Let's see. That goes in. Come on. Might have to heat that up. It's kind of tight. There we go. Check that out. Very cool, and it's a nice figure. It, the the paint is really nice on this one, um, like even on the zipper where it's like really really meticulous. There, it's it's kind of like hit and miss, but it's a zipper, so like, you know, the teeth the teeth are kind of there, kind of not. The articulation's a little tight. 
Got a twisty arm there, twisty arm there, and yeah. I mean, this is this is cool. It's like it's a, it's definitely Mickey Mouse, right? So, you know, it's it's not it's not like oh they they changed any changed anything. It's it's definitely a good representation of Mickey Mouse. The tongue's kind of weird. You see that? But hey, I like it. It's good. I like it. And then we got a. Uh, it's just like a cast of uh, Pluto right there. He only has like one point of articulation, and it's it's his head, and it's kind of tight. It's a ball joint, yeah, and it's really tight. It's you can hear it squeaking. Ugh. Oh, and the tail. Okay, so there are two points of articulation: his head and his tail, and his ears probably don't move, and you probably don't want them to. All right, let's put that aside. The next thing. I found this at Walmart. We have Orm from the Aquaman movie. Um, if you guys like, if you guys see Black Manta in the store, let me know because I've been having a really hard time finding him. I've been to like three or four Walmarts in my set uh, in my area, and I cannot find Black Manta anywhere. But he's the last one I need for this this wave, and then I can build the uh, Trench Warrior. That's cool. Let's see. What does it say? The younger half-brother of Arthur and the present king of Atlantis, Orm seeks to rule all of the undersea kingdoms and declare himself Ocean Master. What a great guy. And his his outfit looks cool. I, I really want to get into this. So, let's see. There he is right there. And there. And there. You got your DC logo on the top. And we've got our product shots on the side right there. And our trench warrior. Yeah. I I really like this wave so far. This is this has really, really wowed me. Um I've I've been trying to get into DC figures, but it it's like, wow, they they just <laughs> up up until this wave, it's Almost like they didn't really care what they were putting out. It just didn't look good. So I'm really excited that that they're they're actually upping their game. They've got their digital printing on the faces. They have the uh, they have decent sculpts. Let's see. Here's the leg for our trench warrior. Sexy, sexy leg. <laughs> and let's see. Here's his trident. It's really nice. I like that. It's really cool. Yeah. And. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see if I can cut this. It's rubber banded in with one of those nylon rubber bands. that cape is really in there but yeah <laughs> he feels good the cape is a like a soft plastic he doesn't have any uh at least from what i can tell so far he doesn't have any flashing that uh hinders his articulation. Uh, that sounded like I broke a paint seal. Let's see if it does it on this side. Ooh, yeah. But yeah, it, it looks good and it feels good and the joints are nice and um, nice and firm. Ooh, so many paint seals on this guy. 
but wow the the are the um the details nice this thing does not come off there's like you can see underneath there's like a a block where it's attached right there that's not coming off um you, that's actually a preference of mine if if they make a figure that has a uh, a cape and the cape never comes off in the entire movie or the entire uh comic um comic strip you know it's like why why make it removable you know <laughs> it doesn't make any sense but yeah really nice texture really nice uh drapery right there you've got the nice wrinkles going through the uh the scale mail all over his body looks nice it feels nice um there's uh like the kind of honeycomb kind of mail right there on his uh on his lower half and it has uh, like it's speckled like Mira's uh, bodysuit, which I really, I really like that one. Uh, if you saw that review, it's a, uh, it's a really cool uh, visual. You know, just every once in a while, one of these, uh, these uh, honeycomb hexagons would be like, like a different color. It looks really cool, and that. That looks like <laughs> that looks like fish skin, like a shark skin kind of thing. That looks really cool. I really like this. Let's see how his hands handle this. One thing I have not liked about these is that they don't have like swappable hands. Um, Aquaman has one hand that holds a a trident. And this guy also has one hand that holds a trident. And it's not bad, and certainly not a deal breaker, but it would be cool if he could, you know, have two hands with uh, holding ability, you know, instead of like that. Or like stab, stab, punch, punch, kick, <laughs> you know. It's a, it's, it's a cool figure, though. I definitely like how it looks and how it feels. Um, we'll we'll get into the uh, the little nitty gritty on the on the uh, review. I'll I'll try to do a review this week. Um, right away though, uh, some of the silver just doesn't match. It it's it's not uh, definitely not a deal breaker at all. But it it doesn't match, and uh, it it. It might not be something that you like. I don't know. But, yeah. It's very cool. I like that. All right. The next thing. Uh-oh. Is. Power of the Primes. Retgar. I finally picked this guy up. It, it just so happened to, that I was driving by a Walgreens and I, I asked my wife if uh, I could go check. She said, yeah, sure, go ahead. And uh, there it was. And she said, do it. And I said, gladly. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. Let's check that out. He's on a blister card and you can see the uh, artwork. I guess he goes with... Uh, with Inferno, um, but I'm not putting him with Inferno because I have a team for Inferno already. So um, I want Retgar. I don't want an arm or a leg. So that's that. Um, let's see. That's really cool artwork. I like I like that uh, that smug look on his face. If you remember the uh, the old movie, that's. Uh, that's the uh, operators are standing by face right there. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Let's see. How will the scatterbrain junkion leader wield the power of the primes? <laughs> I don't know. All right, here it is on the back. We've got our product renders and uh, that's really cool. And then we have our our prime masters right there. 
All right, let's get into this. I know this is just uh this is just a retooling of a couple of figures. Yeah. Yeah, 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 a couple of figures. There's a uh, groove and um Oh, I can't remember his name. Afterburner? Lightspeed? From uh, the Technobots. You know who I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. <laughs> All right, let's get this open. Oh, hey, here's his card. the same artwork but it's cool I don't know if you guys keep these I do um, I don't I don't keep them uh, like in sleeves though I keep them in like <laughs> I do it old school I keep them in a shoebox you know so it's these are cool I like these let's see let's put that down there and then we will cut this guy out. All right. Oh, wow. Ha! Huh. Look at that. It's geared in. Look at that. That is so cool. There is his uh, little pinwheel of death from the uh, from his arsenal in the uh, movie. That is really cool. And look, I mean, it's it's geared. I'm only moving one of these things, and they all move. It's really cool. Wow. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> it's good to love again. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. There is his uh, prime armor. He puts a hand on his chest. There, it's the ones that come with uh, um, the Dinobots. Yeah. And here is. Oh, I, I, I missed the tie. Okay. Okay, there we go. Is that? Nope. His eyes are really inset, almost to the point where it kind of looks like um, um, light piping, but it's not. It's not quite. Check that out. The paint is nice. Um, it feels more firm than groove and. Oh, what's his name? That's going to bother me. Tell me his name in the comments below. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm getting lazy. Yeah. Uh, Technobot motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. He, this one feels a lot more firm. And uh, when I get to the uh, review on this guy, we'll go through the transformation and we'll see if, uh, if there's any uh, degradation from... Uh, um, yeah, some mold degradation. It looks, it looks, it looks thin, or uh, it looks um, legit. There's no, um, there's no noticeable uh, ugly spots on this guy. Everything's really smooth, and the paint is really nice. And those eyes are freaking me out. <laughs> but he looks good. I love that. I love that face. The face is really good. Yeah. 
Um, but make no mistake, he does feel like a Combiner Wars figure. He does feel he does have that hollow quality. So if you uh, if you are looking for a Rekgar in the Combiner Wars line, this is it. This is the guy. Um, there's no way to attach this to his chest. Not. <sighs> okay. Um, maybe it just doesn't attach. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. It's you can just hold it. Womp. And that does just as good. There we go. <laughs> He's really cool. I love it. I love it. I did get kind of a like a chemical whiff off of this guy when I opened him. And uh, it's kind of lingering. Yeah. It's kind of that, that bitter, kind of like rubbing alcohol kind of smell. Like um, like paint, yeah. It smells. It smells like acrylic paint. Yeah. That will dissipate soon enough. Yeah, I like him. He's cool. Ah, yeah. There he is with his little Fu Manchu. So cool. So cool. All right. <clears throat> Let me move this out of the way because I'm going to need some space. Because this, I picked this up yesterday. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, collect Disney movie rewards, um, but they are definitely worth it, especially because um, the Disney stores get a lot of exclusives. So if you if you're into like Marvel Select. Or, um, you know, um, like Disney Toy Box. I got a Disney Toy Box uh, two-pack. And, uh, yeah, um, because of my Disney Movie Rewards, I was able to get a $25 gift card. And uh, I got this guy, I got this set for five bucks. That's, I mean... <laughs> It, and it's really cool. It's really, really cool, too. Um, Disney Toy Box. Hulkbuster versus Hulk. Disney, Disney Store is proud to introduce the Marvel Toy Box range of action figures bringing adventures to life. Let's see. It doesn't have any... I, <laughs> it doesn't have any other uh, blurbs, but... Yeah, they, they pretty much just took the uh, Disney Infinity um, line and made it into toys. And I'm so happy they did because I, I really like that art style. So that's that's this side. That's that side. Try me. Lights and sounds. Reveal Tony Stark. So you can you can flip the uh, the head up or the uh, the helmet up and Tony Stark's head is in there. And uh, on the back, it looks like you can get a little dune buggy with uh, with Spider-Man there. That's pretty cool. And I don't know what this is. I didn't see it when I picked it up. Please retain this information for future reference. Non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharged. Rechargeable batteries are to be removed from the product before being charged. Huh. Rechargeable batteries are only to be charged under adult supervision. Different types of batteries or new and used batteries are not to be mixed. Only batteries of the same or equivalent type as recommended are to be used. Batteries are to be inserted with the correct polarity. Exhausted batteries are to be removed from the product. The supply terminals are not to be short-circuited. Remove batteries when not in use or discharged. Okay. Um, interesting. Is this just a packet that says that in a 
billion different languages. Oh. Huh. It sure is. And that's how you remove the batteries. Look at that. All right. We'll put that aside. Let's get this open. in there yeah there are a few oh okay oh got my sprue nippers Oh, these ties are really thick. They really don't want this going anywhere. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is really, this is my first, uh, Disney toy box, uh, figure, um, out of the box and wow. Wow. This is, look at this. I mean, it's so simple. The art style is so simple, but it's like all the articulation is there. And the look on Hulk's face is like crazy balls. Look at that. He's like, his eyes aren't even pointed in the same direction. He's got veins busting out of his temples. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the way his face looks, it's like, you can tell that his eyes are supposed to be twitching. Like, uh, you know, it's like, whoa, dude. And this feels like I'm going to, it's, it's heavy. It's nice. All of the uh, the joints are. That's that's really it feels really good. The paint is nice and solid, but I will tell you when I was in the Disney store, um, two things I noticed. One, the eyes on the Hulk were not always um, nice. It, it some the the way they were printed were just it was just weird so watch out for that and um the uh, there were three boxes i picked the best one i think um the other box had um like black scuff marks across his chest and the hulkbuster's chest i don't know how that happens but i mean there is a try me uh demo hole in the uh in the plastic window so uh, may maybe somebody dropped something in there. He comes with a bent pipe. This is <laughs> this is cool. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Which way does it go? Maybe it goes this way. <laughs> Hulk strongest there is. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's get the Hulkbuster out before I I don't know laugh myself giddy. Oh my goodness. This is
Guys, I have another Hulkbuster. I have another legit Hulkbuster. This is... It's so nice. Wow! Okay. Check him out. And he has... Let's, uh... Those are legit sounds. They're none of this like, "Hi, I'm Tony Stark. Hey, this is the Iron Man. I'm going to do stuff to you." It's it's like it's like legit pulse pul uh, repulsor sounds and uh, and lasers and charging up. That is cool. Um, something I noticed here. It looks like we have some articulation on the fingers. I was really hoping that we can get a um, a closed fist, but it doesn't look like yeah it doesn't look like this hand closes but I mean uh, it does look like it closes but after looking at it for a little while it doesn't close we have figured out that it does not close um, He's got a toe. He's got, he's got a toe that bends up and down. And he's got good ankle articulation. He's got good... Are these buttons too? No, 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 they're not. It would be cool if all of these lit up. Because the, the way this guy is articulated, it almost seems like they're limiting movement uh, so they don't pinch a wire or anything like that but then again i mean this spins all the way around let's see okay and <laughs> there he is that's so cool all right all right you know what let's do it We'll go ahead and do this right now because uh, I'm the one recording. <laughs> so there's definitely a size difference, but this is still a legit, like, look at that side by side. Like it's, it's all there. Look, look at his feet. I gotta get a better grip there. It is all there. All of it. The, it it's, it's wow. So cool. And, uh, I have, uh, Marvel select too. He's smaller than Marvel select. So there, let's see. Point this down a little bit. There they are. <laughs> Small, medium, and large. They're all Hulkbuster. They'll all mess you up. <laughs> and here's uh, Hulk and Hulk with the respective Hulkbusters. So I guess if uh, if scale is an issue to you, um, they both look like they follow the same scale guidelines as far as height goes. So, hey, that's cool. 
All right, so that's it. That is my haul. That is my unpacking. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, if you like this video, give me a like. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I put up new stuff on the channel. Hopefully this thing will start flooding again with new stuff because uh, I have a bunch of stuff that I still want to review and I'm trying to get it out there. So I'm sorry for the wait. Um, if you guys have been waiting, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. Um, I want to get this guy reviewed this week and I want to get these guys reviewed this week. So be on the lookout for that. I'll be taking pictures of this, these guys. So be on the lookout on Instagram and my Facebook. And uh, thanks for watching.